dead center, folks. Dead center, my man. Just a champion, bro. The, the Jedi RPR doing its <laughs> thing. Just taking, taking out those bad guys. That's sweet. Hey guys, welcome to Gentle Drinker. This is Jay, so glad you're joining us again. Here we are, episode five. This is the last in our series of the Star Wars, Jedi Order, Mandalorian inspired, Old Republic kind of theme build and complete set. So this is the RPR in six and a half Creedmoor. That's the Ruger Precision Rifle. Now this, outside of cosmetics and bolt-ons, is pretty much all stock, exactly how it came. I'm not gonna go into the details of the RPR or anything like that. This is not the video for that. I think this has been out for quite a while. You've, if you're watching this, you've probably done some research on it, or you're just a fan of Star Wars and you wanna see some, some fun shooting. So I will run through it and tell you real quickly what I've done, and then we'll get to some footage and taking care of some targets. So just to let you know, aged bronze, sunset bronze, and copper bronze are Duracoat colors that I love. I absolutely love them. If you want any kinds of oranges, browns, tans, it's perfect for that. What you primarily see, the goldish type color, is the sunset bronze. The uh, aged bronze is kind of this darker brown, very similar to the Vortex scope here actually. And then a copper is more orange rust type looking. And that is actually the base coat on the entire firearm. So once the firearm was roughed up, ready for paint, the base was used in copper. Now there are some designs and distressing throughout it. I'll go to a close up to show you that. So you'll be able to see that. The starting at the back of the rifle here, we've got the AccuShot uh, bipod here, or I'm sorry, monopod. And with this monopod here, uh, what's kind of neat about it is that it's a one button click to come out and down and then you can twist it to adjust it and lock it in place. That's really good if you're doing some prone work and whatnot. I've put a neoprene uh, cheek rest on the Ruger pad right here. Nothing too, too special about that. It just feels a little bit more comfortable. And just moving down, I've got an Anarchy Outdoors Dragon Scale bolt on the, a bolt knob on the bolt. And I've distressed that, made that look, you know, in line with the rifle. And this is the Radian Talon 4590 safety selector. I love that. That's in the MP3 finish. I don't know if they make that anymore. I haven't been able to find any more of them. Down from that is the Anarchy Outdoors Penguin Precision Grip right hand. And the reason why it's right hand, I will show you, is that you can keep all fingers and your thumb on one side of the rifle to hit your safety and really focus on getting that very crisp trigger pull. Control your breathing, don't worry about your grip so much. Just keep your hand to one side. And that's, I actually love that. I didn't know how practical that was gonna be, but if you've never shot a long range rifle like that, it, it makes all the difference, at least in my mechanics and how I shoot. So um, with that, I've put a little bit, a little Talon grip pad on top of that just for some more comfortability when resting your thumb, as well as a Talon grip rubber FDE wrap around the uh, hand grip. Speaking of FDE, the American Defense Manufacturing Recon S mount is FDE as well. Those are the only two things on this build that are FDE. Everything else is pretty much custom paint. So um, it, that mount is amazing. It's, I love it. It's, it's got a 20 uh, minute of angle to it. It mounts side to side instead of up and down like traditional mounts mount up and down. I love that for some reason. It just works. I really like it. I do keep my bubble scope level in the back instead of towards the front. That's personal preference. Moving to this scope, this is the Vortex Razor HD 5 to 20 power by 50. Now this is an amazing scope in my opinion. Vortex is known for their clear glass, their warranty, and their incredible craftsmanship for what you pay. Uh, really the only disappointment for me is that I bought this Vortex Defender cap right here and it didn't come with the scope. Uh, you spend a couple grand on a scope, give us a nice cap. I mean everybody, not just Vortex, everybody does that. Give us, give us a nice cap set, you know, we, we kind of deserve it when we're spending our money with you and uh, we wanna protect our, our product, our investment here with you. 
Um, and this is just, I mean, great rubber on this. Hey, a cap is a cap. Not really. I mean, this one flips up. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to take it off. There's not some big string going across here that you got to fumble with and worry about losing or anything like that. It's just, it's just great. This extension right here is mainly to keep glare out of the scope and, and the sun and all that works perfectly. So the bullet quivers here, and by the way, if you were wondering, I don't shoot silver too often. Well, actually never, but this is the Sig Sauer Hunter round in silver. And the reason why I put these in the quiver is because I think it looks cool. It just looks cool with the build. But XLR Industries made these two by two bullet quivers that are M-Lock mount right onto the side. I don't believe they make them anymore. Uh, they really should, they're amazing. And then I've got the Leverage UTG bipods here. I went uh, each individual instead of one unit. For one, there's nothing hanging out super far underneath. It all keeps it real streamlined onto the sides. And for two, these individuals tend to be a little bit more heavy duty because they're, they're so solid in one area. And this is a very heavy rifle. You do not want to be lugging around this rifle. It's super heavy. And I love the versatility of that bipod system. Outside of that, there really isn't anything that has been done. Um, it's just a lot of cosmetics and bolt-ons and retaining the same functionality and value that you get with the Ruger RPR. This is the 24 inch barrel variant of the six and a half Creedmoor that they have. And I think I might do a compensator device on the end of it. Um, when I originally bought this, I was, I was gonna suppress it. I don't think I will do that now, I'm, I'm still not sure but I'd be curious to know what kind of compressors, or not compressors, but compensators you can recommend for me, or muzzle devices, whatever you'd like to call them, because I'm, I'm, I'm shopping for one. I need to retain a similar size of this, however, just because of the case, unless I wanna you know, cut some more case out. But anyway, guys, I hope you really enjoy this. Um, sorry if you can hear the train or any other noise out here. Uh, it's an afternoon on a, on a really beautiful day, actually a little bit chilly, but very beautiful. Speaking of beautiful days, we're gonna show you some footage from one. So I hope you have fun watching the footage. We had a lot of fun shooting it. And uh, feel free to leave your comments and questions. Like, subscribe. We enjoy hanging out with you guys and can't wait to bring you more fun content. And, and uh, anything we can do to help you, let us know. If you have any questions and we have answers, we'd love to help you. We're not experts in anything by any means, but uh, we have a lot of fun and have a, a lot of knowledge uh, about certain things. So feel free to ask us questions, comment, subscribe, like, do all the things, and we'll see you next time. So we got our Star Wars target out here at 100 yards, getting ready to fire at it with the RPR, Ruger Precision Rifle. And as you can see from the target, we've got... Um, everybody's favorite and least favorite characters from Star Wars universe up here and let's see who survives all right everybody so check out what we got here this is our target to shoot all right so we got the light side all your favorite characters we got the dark side all your least favorite and some of you's favorite characters so we're gonna take turns with the RPR from way down there, shooting at these targets. I'll let Blake tell you more. All right, so we are at 100 yards. And again, like Jay said, um, obviously we have some uh, favorite characters here that we're going to try our best not to hit, but we'll see what happens. All right, so Blake's up first and he is going to go for Count Dooku on the right. Right through the eye. Ah. Wow. <laughs> wow. You see that, folks? <laughs> Blake's first shot, Dooku. Boom, eyeball. Dunzo. Wow. All right, who's next, Blake? All right, next, this one might hurt your feelings a little bit. Uh, go for Darth Maul. Darth Maul, man, I like that guy too. Oh, 
All right. Now this one's really gonna hurt. He's your main man, Boba Fett. Boba Fett? Yeah. Come on, dude. Man, that's a tough shot. <laughs> he is a yeah. little target down there. He is flying up there in the air. We'll see if you can nail him. I hope I got him. All right, let's see if you did. Darth Maul, almost dead center in the head. And then you gave me Boba Fett. I hit his jet pack. Mate, you, you missed that on purpose. You know no, you did that no, on purpose. Man, no. you, you know you just couldn't I, bring yourself hey, to shoot him. I love the guy, man. What can I say? <laughs> I love the guy. I couldn't shoot him. He was my favorite character growing up. You were taking out the jet pack. Oh, man. Well, look. I, whatever, man. <laughs> I love the guy. All right, so Blake, I'm going to give him three targets that he's got to hit in a row. All right, Blake, you ready? Yep. All right. I want you to hit. Go ahead and hit uh, Bosk, bottom right. All right, now hit Kylo Ren. Now hit the Emperor. All right, let's walk the line. Love that trigger pull. Trigger's amazing on the RPR. All right, Blake's three shots. There's my Grievous from earlier, just about dead center. We got Kylo Ren in the mask right here. Kylo Ren right in the left eye. Blake loves the left eyes. <laughs> the Emperor Darth Sidious right in the cheek. And look at that boss right in the top of his head. Just put a hole in a dome piece. Man, this thing's on. Let's keep shooting. All right, so now I'm gonna give Blake five targets in a row to hit. So let's start off, Blake, with, you know what? The light side of the force does not get out of this easy. Let's go with Ray. Oh, with pleasure. Boom, dead center of the cranium, baby. <laughs> All right, let's stay on that side, man. Look, there's a couple of them that are off limits, but you know who is it? C-3PO. Can't see that one, but you might've hit him in the groin. <laughs> All right, you got three more targets. Go ahead and put one on Darth Vader right in the eyeball. All right, now put one on that AT AT. And last, but certainly not least, why don't you go ahead and hit that Star Destroyer on the top right? All right, my man, let's walk it and see how you did. Let's go. All right, folks, so yeah, here's, in the net. here's, right. <laughs> here's Blake. So Ray, I mean, couldn't ask for more. C-3PO, and then let's see right to the left eye corner on Darth Vader. The Star Destroyer hit it dead on. And who else did I give you, the AT-18? Right at the top. I wanted to kill the pilot. Yeah. You're gonna have to, uh, well, he's in here, oh, right? Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, so okay. you're gonna have to hit that now. You just talked, your, <laughs> you talked yourself into that. So, all right, guys, now I'm up with five shots, and then we're going back to Blake.
All right, five more shots for Jay. First, let's go with Poe Dameron. Oh, okay. All right, now Finn. Finn? Finn. Come on, man. Just want to start taking out light side guys, I guess. That's a hard shot, bro. I might have pulled that. All right, the stormtrooper beside Darth Maul. Anakin. And BB-8. That's gonna be a tough shot. All right, let's see how you did. All right. All right, Blake, what'd you give me, man? All right, so I gave you Poe. Poe, I got him right, right to the right eye. Still on target. All right, we got Finn over there with the hole in his Finn right in the chest. right in the heart. Yeah. <laughs> uh, BB-8 down there. BB-8, boom. Right in the circuit board. He's not having a good day. No, he's not. Let's see, who else? Anakin up there. Anakin. Eyebrow, right eyebrow. And Stormtrooper over there right in the neck. Stormtrooper, bam. That's going through his neck and hitting his... Is that a flamethrower? Yeah. That's a flame trooper, ain't it? Yeah, he, he's going to so be... So he's... he's explode. You see this explosion right here? That's him in the future. Right there. <laughs> All right, so five shots. So we have not missed anything yet. Nope. Which is pretty good. So now, folks, it's time to start taking harder shots. All right, folks, so this time we're gonna do five targets again, but we're gonna have two shots per target. So Blake's gonna start us off. And Blake, first target I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna let you pick. Let me pick? Huh? I'm gonna go for the TIE Fighter at the bottom left corner. Bottom left TIE Fighter, let's do it. Two shots per. All right, next target is gonna be the Stormtrooper under the AT-AT -AT in the middle. Stormtrooper in the middle? The one that's in the middle. All right, next target is gonna be, go for the TIE Fighter at the very top above the Millennium Falcon. Oh man. Yeah, the paper is waving up there. Yeah. A hard shot. All right, fourth target. Go for. Hmm. All right, let's go back to those stormtroopers under the ATAT. -AT. Yeah. Use your two shots to hit. One on the left and one on the right. So one shot per. Hit his buddies. All 
All right, last two shots. Go for... Uh, take out the eyeball on Anakin. All right, I'm up. So Blake is gonna give me five targets, two shots per. Gonna see what we can do here, folks. All right, let's see. Let's go for Obi-Wan. Oh my God, man. Why are you giving me the light side, guys, man? <laughs> I might have pulled that second one. All right, now the two X wings in the top left corner. I gotta hit, I gotta hit one shot per or? One shot per. Why don't you give me the hard shots, man? All right, let's go with Chewy. Chewy, I love Chewy. <laughs> All right, now let's finish off Boba Fett. Two shots. Oh my God. Right, last shot. Let's see if you could turn off both of General Grievous' lightsabers. Oh my God. One Wait. shot each lightsaber. Why are you doing this to me, man? God, that's a hard shot, man. I know I didn't hit that. I got faith in you. I'm pretty sure I missed his, uh, his green one. Well, let's see if the force was with you. Let's check it out. All right, so me and Jay just each took 10 shots. So let's see how we did. So Jay got Chewy here twice. Uh, let's see, we got, yeah, Obi-Wan here, he's having a bad day. Um, these were yours right here, so you got that yeah. X-Wing, missed this one, missed this one a little high, got this one right in that, that lower wing on that side. All right, Anakin eyeball, nailed that one. Yep. Um, these are my two shots at the TIE Fighter, but the fabric kept, you know, moving in the wind, so. That's a tough I'll forget, shot. I'll forgive myself that one. It's a tough shot. Boba Fett, yeah, you made me do it. <laughs> I hit him. I hit him right there in the kneecap. It looks like in the arm. There. Sorry, there's a major shadow on the, the paper, y'all. And then down here, let's see. We got the stormtrooper in the middle. His friends escaped with their lives to fight another day, but they won't hit anything anyway, so no worries. Looks like I did not turn off Grievous's lightsaber, but I did turn off the blue one. So I turned off one of them. That was it for those shots, right? Yeah, I think all in all, we did a pretty bang up job. Pretty decent job. Oh, TIE Fighter down here. Oh yeah. So I nailed it right in the center and then over here on the wing. So I hit the wing and the center. And those were your first shots, I think? Yeah. Maybe, but anyway. So we had a lot of fun doing this. We're gonna shoot this thing a few more times. Go ahead and get rid of the rest of the ammunition we brought out here for the RPR. 
But man, this was really fun. And I'm glad we can bring you content like this and have fun and hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if we hit your favorite character, oh well. At least we left uh, Grogu and Mandalorian out of it because they're untouchable. <laughs> yeah, we had a blast. If you guys have any ideas for future videos, just let us know. We'll be happy to do it. All right, folks. Well, this is Jay signing off for Gentle Drinker. And this is Blake. Once again, it was fun hanging out with you guys, and I hope you'll join us next time. See you next time.